it has been a second. But we're here and we're back. I genuinely think the last time that I filmed a YouTube video was spring of 2018 when Brandon and I had just gotten married. We were going on all our adventures and it's now spring of 2024. So a lot has happened and it will be a totally separate video. Uh, but yeah, life's changed a lot since that time. We've now been married for almost seven years and that's just insane to think about. It has been a long time, but we are here and we are thriving and I'm so excited to be back. I figured what better way to come back to my vlogs than to do my trip to London. Let's get started. I leave for London in four hours, four hours, which is wild. This will be the third time in a year. And today's extra special because look at this hottie. It's Valentine's <laughs> Day. So even happy though, Valentine's Day. Oh, even though I won't be here for Valentine's Day dinner, we decided what better way to commemorate then <laughs> oh gosh it trip to chick-fil-a which if you know us you know how much we love chick-fil-a <laughs> yes so we've got chick-fil-a and then we're gonna head to the airport <laughs> we're here. my flight leaves in like an hour and it just never it never gets old When I tell you I love staying here, I love staying here. So I've stayed at this hotel now two or three times and each time it just gets better and better. The service is the absolute best. But look how cute my room is. Okay, so you walk in and then you have like this really large, gorgeous lobby area. The bathrooms have to be still one of my favorite parts. So spacious, nice robes separated shower and then this time my room's a little bit bigger than last time so I my closet's a little bit different um, which is amazing because uh, you guys saw how I pack so we've got all of this and then dun, 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 dun. you've got another closet right here, I think this is my petition to have Brandon put in lights in my closet when they open up at home We've got a little coffee bar, all of my stuff. They put your bags up, it's so nice. And then the bed, and then I love this part of it. Ta-da, the TV is in the wall. Ugh, it's so gorgeous. Okay, so that being said, I did get an early check-in, which I did not originally think I was gonna get. And they gave me an upgrade for the lounge. I have my exciting, um, my exciting project that I'm working on this afternoon. That being said, since I've got lounge access, I think I'm gonna take one of these complimentary waters. I'm gonna go down to the lounge, get some breakfast, and then freshen up, and let's go live London. That was a whirlwind. It was so much fun. It is now like 2.30ish, and I just got back to my room. And so now I've got lots of like errands, which sounds really funny since I don't actually live here, but I have lots of errands to run because I need to run to Fortnum and Mason and get the tea that Brandon and I like. I need to go to Westminster Abbey, pick up a keychain that I wanna have just like a backup of, and I'll show you guys because it's so cute. Oh, and we're rocking the bow today, obviously. Lots of bows, I got bows here, I got bows here. Uh, and I need to put my jacket on just because it might get a little bit cold later. Right now though, honestly, it's so nice. The person I was with was saying that this is the nicest weather they've had all year. So I'm gonna just consider that God's little blessing because it was not a blessing at first. Um, I was steaming, I was steaming, I was steaming. I can't tell you, but I was steaming. And then I got a stain on a dress that was very obvious. And I was like, you've got to be kidding me. And then I've never had this issue. And of course it happened today. My makeup decided not to um, go on my face. Literally, I was trying to do my foundation and I was using my beauty blender, which I use every single day. I've never had this issue. And I was trying to put it on and all it was doing was removing it. 
So we're here, we survived, we thrived, uh, we at least survived, and now we get to go do all the fun London things. So one of my absolute favorite things about staying in the St. James area is that literally, it took me two blocks to get here. This is the Westminster Abbey. Look how pretty she looks. And we have a little bit of sun. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's a gorgeous day. I love being here. Look how gorgeous she is. I love her. Is it so creepy that I'm like, this is a door that Kate Middleton went in. She was like parked right here-ish and she went in right there. Is that weird? It's a little weird, that's why. This really shows you there's just so much detail. Wow. They had exactly what I needed at the Abbey. They had exactly what I needed at the Abbey, which was amazing. And now we are on our way to Fortnum and Mason with two fun stops along the way. First one being St. Ermans. So this is where Brandon and I have stayed before and we absolutely love it. The very first time we came, that's where we stayed. And now the Conrad also has my heart. So I'm pretty good at either one, and I'm just happy with them. Um, but if you're looking for good hotels, St. Ermans is really amazing. Their service is phenomenal as well. And now to the next special stop on our way to Fortnum. I will say one of the amazing things about London is everything is walking distance. Now that being said, you like walk 0.7 miles to this location and then 0.7 miles to another location. And then before you know it, you're at 10 miles by the end of the day, which has happened to me more than one time, but that's okay. Also, currently, we are hauling. It's about three o'clock-ish, and my goal is to be asleep no later than like nine or 10, since we have a very busy weekend of work coming up, and I wanna be tip-top shape. I give you Buckingham Palace. Oh, she's such a cutie. Something that I always find so interesting about Buckingham Palace is that originally it did not look like this. It looked more like a U, and I'll insert a photo right here of what it originally looked like. And now it is this. And she's so beautiful. It's really interesting because from the side you can see those color differences as well. But tomorrow, We'll be doing a tour, a guided tour actually, of Buckingham Palace. Uh, typically it's not open this time of year, but you can do the guided tours. They're usually open for like the summer months. Last time I did it, I did not do the guided tour. So Brandon and I have actually done photos right in front of this girl, and it did not look anything like this when we did that. We came at like 7 a.m. and none of these people were here. But here we are, my friends. This is just one of the nice, beautiful gardens that goes to Miss Buckingham. I have always been so obsessed with these gates because of all the amount of detail on them. <sighs> She's so pretty. I mean, truly, that is iconic. Look at this, gorgeous. So this view is sometimes what you'll see when the world reporters come and like talk about whatever's going on at the palace or if there's any special events, but it's always so cool to think about. Like, they're right over here. I think that would just be like the most fun job ever. A royal reporter, except I would only want to tell the best things about any of them, especially Kate. Now we're in focus. Now we are going down the mall, which is really iconic because anytime you see like the big parades or big events in British history, people will line up, up and down this. And it is so mad how many people you see on TV. How the mall looks in person is always, I think, so different than how it actually comes across on the media as well. So this road apparently has always been red as well, which is really nice because then it's a red carpet leading right up, oh come on, there we go, to the Queen Victoria statue and to Buckingham, which I think is just really neat. There's so much history, like everything, matters which is obviously very different than how we have it in the states where everything is just like quick 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 here there's purpose there's history now granted they do have a few more years on us 
because uh, <laughs> we kind of left them. But they've got a few more years of existence than we do. So all their stuff has gorgeous history. And we have made it. Oh my goodness. I do too. But now we are on our way to Regent Street. I am absolutely spent, but this was on the way back to the hotel. And I'm gonna see if I can show you guys one of my favorite views of Big Ben. I just don't know if I'm going to be able to get it from this angle. It's kind of hard to see from this angle, but B and I actually have a photo from right above us that really captures it beautifully. This little garden in St. James Park. It looks like they may have the little veg pouch over here. Look at that. Is the season, my friends. That's one of the, oh, look, you can see Buckingham all the way over there. That's so gorgeous. What a gorgeous view, my gosh. Look at that. All right, my friends. We, you're a little small still. Let's try putting you up on this. I'm officially back in the room with some food. This is Farmer J. It's actually right next to the Conrad if you ever decide to stay here. And the test is gonna be, does it actually taste good? I predict that it will because it looked amazing. But honestly, at this point, I haven't eaten since maybe 8 p.m. Eastern last night. And I was hungry when I got on the plane. That was my mistake. I should have eaten more at lunch with Brandon but I was definitely sitting there. And the Atlanta International Terminal really doesn't have a ton of food options. So I was sitting there thinking, yeah, I'm already hungry and I don't know what I'm gonna eat next. Cause literally you guys saw as soon as I got here, it was, I was running and moving and all these things. So this looks delicious. I mean, hello? Yes. So my plan is to eat some and then I need to relax because my feet hurt, my back hurts, my everything hurts from an amazing day walking around. Let's see how much walking I did. Oh, please. Okay, so I take your bets at home about how far I've walked today. 6.5 miles. So I think I'm rightfully tired. So yes, I'm gonna eat this deliciousness. I wish that YouTube could like let you smell food because this smells amazing. I'm gonna eat. I'm going to take a bath because there's this gorgeous bath here. And then I'm gonna work on all my presentations that have already been done, but I just wanna like keep running them um, until the expo and make sure that they're absolutely flawless. But what a day, guys. So I'm gonna get some sleep and I will see you tomorrow. We are on our way to our Buckingham Palace tour. I am absolutely thrilled. So as I told you yesterday, I have actually done Buckingham Palace before. Brandon is very jealous because he has never gotten to do it. And this is actually now my second time doing it. And another one, okay, here we are. So this time I'm actually doing the guided tour. Again, such a benefit of the Conrad is it's only about a five minute walk. So we'll be there shortly. And I'm running ahead of schedule because always terrified of being late so here we are but farmer jays absolutely amazing and then after this we're going to the english rose which is my absolute favorite so here we go here 
we go. My absolute favorite. Rose was amazing as always. I love that it's moderately priced. I love that you can overlook Buckingham. I love that it's just calm and beautiful and of course that it's Brandon and I's spot. So if you're looking for a place that's amazing and affordable, English Rose is the way to go. Now we are going to somewhere not affordable but even more fabulous, Harrods. Look at all these little lovely flowers. I believe they're called little snowdrops. to Birmingham. All right, so I just checked in. Don't mind that. Pretend that that is neatly folded. And we're here. Look at all this space. Look at all this space. Bathroom is nice, super tiny, but still very nice. And yeah, here we have it for the next two days. Hi friends, we made it to Birmingham. There were moments where I questioned if that was actually going to happen. So the last thing I think I showed you guys was actually getting to Houston and showing you around Houston. I take this train station out all the time, so that's not anything new. But if you've never been to London, you don't really know how trains work. So the very first time I was like, what's happening? This is not like Harry Potter. What's really interesting is that when you get to Houston, and there's like those big boards that you guys saw and it'll say whatever that final destination is for the train and then it'll also say all the places that it also stops luckily this time my train station i had to get off at was my final stop so that part was a lot easier this time than when i usually go up to like the manchester preston area however one of the hard things that still remained is that when you go to these train stations they don't tell you what platform you're going to be until about five minutes before the train left at 6 10 and i think i at like yeah, around five. Nope, that's a lie. That's a lie, because I was like, what are these people doing? It was at 6.02, the train leaves at 6.10. That's eight minutes. And then at 6.02, it's like, platform three. Amazing. Rush, everybody like rushes out of that little area. And this happens over and over and over again, all day long at these train stations, which is, I'm so grateful to be here, all these things. But that's a lot when you're like not emotionally prepared for that. So the first time is very shocking. This time I kind of like know the ropes, I know how to do it. But I was like, I will get a good seat. I will do this. Not only did I need to get a good seat, I needed to get next to a luggage rack. So same situation if you've never been. You have to, you can pre-book your seats, but like people don't really respect those. So you have to pre-book your seat. And the goal is if you're traveling like me, the goal is to get next to a luggage rack because it makes your life super easy. You don't have to worry about your luggage, all these things. So I am hauling, I am hauling, I am hauling. My bet is that my luggage, my main suitcase has gotta be like 40, like eight, cause it did make the limit. And then my other luggage has to be close to 20 plus. 
I could argue 25. So that's, yeah, that's 75 pounds that I am lugging through Houston. Anyways, I get on the train. I'm running to like get on my little like section of the train. Running, 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 running. I'll get to my coach. I get the luggage rack. And if you're at home, you're like, yes, I was waiting. Yeah, I got it. That's how I felt as well. So I was really excited about that. I'm gonna show you the text message uh, that happened between Brandon and I right here. Yep. So I was really excited. And then I was like, I'm in the home stretch. This is going to be easy peasy lemon squeezy. It was not easy peasy or lemon squeezy. I get off at my train station and I'm like, oh, this is amazing. I'm here. It's two blocks to get to my hotel. What I didn't realize is that it's two blocks uphill to get to my hotel at eight o'clock on a Friday night and the pubs on this street are packed and it's like a brick street. So it's almost like going over cobblestone. 75 pounds on a crowded Friday night where there's only pubs. I've never been to this specific city before. And you know what? We did it. And then again, I'm like, I made it. This is amazing. I get to the hotel. They don't have elevators to take it from street level to where the uh, check-in is. The plan for the rest of the night is to continue working on my workshop. I just want to get ready ready and make sure my head is straight for it. I could not be more excited. It's going to be an absolute blast. I'm going to do that. The next 48 hours are going to be madness. So tomorrow is all day coaching and then Sunday is the actual pageant expo which was the main reason that I got to come out here uh, pretty on those workshops and then on Monday we go home. I leave where I'm at right now at 8 20 on monday and then my flight's at 3 50 so it's a quick turnaround this whole trip is chaos but i wouldn't have it any other way i think i'm gonna end the vlog here thank you guys for coming along for a whirlwind what ended up really being only about a day and a half in london and we squeezed in a lot of things so we're gonna end the vlog here if you liked all the london things you enjoyed all that and now everything in the next vlog is going to be all of the pageant things because tomorrow is all of my personalized coaching sessions so i have one-on-ones with a lot of my uk girls and then sunday that's going to be the workshop and i could not be more thrilled i'm so honored to be here i really am incredibly honored moments like this always make me all in my feels because i still so often see myself as like the girl who whose mom made her dress and literally sewed it from a pattern she found at the dress shop so getting to come and do something like this just feels absolutely surreal thank you guys so much for watching welcome back to the vlogs and i'll see you guys in the next one